Hi, I'm going to demonstrate a couple of different things in this video. One is how to enable dark mode on your iPad, and the other, how to turn on color invert through the accessibility feature of the iPad. So I'm showing them both to you for a specific purpose because they're kind of similar, but I want you to watch the video and then afterwards go play and see which one of these would best meet the needs of your students. So to turn on dark mode for your iPad, one way is to go into settings, that's where we are right now. You find display and brightness. You'll see it's defaulted to light, but if we turn it to dark here, you'll see that everything changes. The background is black. I'll show you something else about dark mode. You can make it automatic, but you can also turn it so you have it scheduled to turn on and off. So maybe you only want that on at night, you wanna turn it on it like I did 10, and have it turn back off at 7 a.m. You can schedule that or you can have it on all of the time. So that's how you turn it on within settings. I'm gonna show you another way to turn that on. So let's get out of here. Okay, so you get to the control center by swiping down in the upper right hand corner. And now you find your brightness display here. This is how you can turn it up. But you may not have known if you long press, you can get more menu items here. And one of them is dark mode on and off. And so this is where you can quickly turn that on and off. Okay, so let's go back and show you what that looks like when you're actually in an app. So dark mode in pages, you'll see that the menu bar, the toolbar up at the top turns black, has some contrasting orange text, but the actual document itself stays white with black text. So now I'm going to show you how to turn on the color invert with an accessibility feature. So let's go back out to settings. We're in display and brightness. We're going to actually, let's turn that back to light so I can show you the difference. When we go into accessibility here on the left, we're gonna go over to display and text within accessibility. Then we're gonna scroll down and I'm gonna show you, here's the invert. So you can do a classic invert or a smart invert. You are probably always gonna to wanna to do a smart invert. The biggest difference with classic invert, and I'm just gonna show you, is it inverts everything, including any kind of media or pictures. So if you look at my picture on the front, it really distorts that. Let's go back in and I'll show you the difference with smart invert does everything in the background and text, but it will not do the media or pictures. So then everything looks fine. So that's how you turn Smart Invert on, and you can see what it looks like here. It has changed the colors a little bit differently um, on your icons, etc., a little bit brighter than they were for dark mode. Let's go in, now we're on Smart Invert, and I wanna show you what it looks like again for our document. So now you'll see we're in the same document, but this time the toolbar is black with the blue contrasting colors for the icons, and the document itself has now has a black background with white text. So this is one of the major differences between the dark mode and the accessibility inverting colors. So that's how you turn on dark mode and how you turn on the accessibility inverting colors features on the iPad. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.